What do we got there? We got andouille. Yep, we got some andouille. We got some of these uh, Hillshire pork kibasa. We got some Templar's hot link sausages. Nice. These actually add a little bit of spice to the boil, having them in there, and they're tasty to eat by themselves. Along with the two tablespoons of cayenne pepper. I think Sherry adds a little spice to the boil. <laughs> Howdy folks, it's old Magnus Booner. First thing I want you to do is smack that subscribe button for me. You are not going to want to miss any of this epic content that I keep creating for y'all. In this video, we're going to show you all how to do a crawfish boil. My brother Nick is an expert, probably Oregon's foremost crawfish boil expert. He's done it every year for his birthday. He started out with an Alton Brown recipe and modified it to make it his own. I'll put that recipe on my blog. Well, let's get this video started. Wow. What do we got there? So this is a uh, seasoning mixture that we're putting in the boil. We'll get it going while the water's starting to boil. And then we got some corn we're gonna put in, some sausages, and then we're gonna throw the crayfish in last because they don't take all that long. So we got some water here. Got a basket inside that uh, I can just lift out with everything in it. And we just pour it out on the table and everybody can dig in. Okay, so we threw uh, two heads of garlic in here. It's an Alton Brown crawfish boil recipe. Uh, we we're actually omitting a lot of the potatoes because we got a lot of other food going on and we want to have room for more crayfish. I'm also going to put a pound of kosher salt in here. We could measure it out, but that's a lot of work. I already had a bad pound out of this box, so I'm going to put about half of what was in there because it's a three pound box. I've never seen a three pound box before. That feels about right. So we got uh, those sausages and some potatoes cut up. We got some Yukon Golds and some purple potatoes. And then we got some corn here. We'll dump those on in. Little these guys. Then it's gonna go for 10 minutes. And then we'll add the uh, crawfish. Is that boiling water? You can probably just throw it in there. boiling water. We'll just wipe this off and toss it in there. Oh yeah, get in there. So you can see they're starting to wake up and move around. Oh yeah, wiggle there. for me. Wiggle. These are ready to go right in. Did looks I just like, hear them scream? Looks like we actually wanted more water in there. Shit. Push them down. There's not enough Shit. water, they're suffering. Look at them suffer. Somebody get Pete on the phone! Get <laughs> Pete on the phone! This is terrible. This is one of the worst catastrophes in the world. Oh, it's not quite to the morning mass. All the humanity and all the fans are just feeding around it. I told you, I can't even talk to people. The fans are out there. It's a, it's, it's a, oh. I, I can't talk, ladies and gentlemen. We need a little more water there. So we're going to add some more water here. And then we're going to crank up the uh, burner over here. There we go. So there's a crayfish all nice and red, done cooking. Oh my god, look at those things. Just, just look at them. Gonna snag this right here. Easy does it. You ain't a shit, and that's a lot of crawdads. I am gonna need a second pot holder. Can somebody run and grab that for me? Clearly, I'm not thinking ahead like I should. I'm just gonna let it drip here for a minute. I think the problem is you're thinking of head. That's possible. I am awake. Grab the thorax here. Kind of pull and twist with your thumb under here. Ouch, hot. Sorry. So that pulls the tail off, which is where all the good meat is and then you can kind of mend it backwards pop little tail off and if sometimes the meat will pull right out for you on this side and sometimes it won't let's see there you go there it is get some butter some good hot mustard actually hot mustard for the sausages but mm, much tasty <laughs> now if you're from the south you can suck the head 
Do you want to suck the head, Jason? No, no. Just I'm one? Good. Please? No. Okay. <laughs> right, I let's see like if Sherry will do it. No, I've done it before. It is not my cup of tea. I have a friend named Lauren who will suck the head all day long, but no. Will you introduce me to Lauren? <laughs> yes. You grab the tail and the thorsax, I think Sherry called this. You twist and pull. Try and leave the guts inside of the head there. And then she did something like this. All right, so you, you get that meat there, you get all the uh, all the shell off of it, dip it in a little mustard, mm, and you send it home. So you get a nice richness. Nice rich meatiness from the uh, from the crawdad. You get the spiciness from the mustard. And it's just amazing. And then we got this andouille sausage. I couldn't get him to an AC. He doesn't know anything. And it tastes just like andouille sausage, which is good. And this is potato. And that tastes like potato. This is Ken. He is the expert executive sous chef, assistant grill master. Thank you. I just always tend to be a sous chef. I just never rise to the top. But I know my place. He hasn't risen in quite a few years. This is Brother Bob. He's an expert at burning wood and sausages. Okay. Good. How do you know when they're black enough? When they get to 160 because I have a consultant that helps me with that. I thought it was 155. Well, we're going a little heavy because we don't want to make sure that nobody gets sick. Nobody gets sick at 155. The Washington State Health Department came up with that. Okay, thank you very much. I'll take that under advisement. Huh? I must admit we are in Oregon, not Washington. Five degrees above 155 is five degrees overcooked. I'm sorry, I'll try to do better next time. You see that black? That is a hot dog. Black is done. Well, hey, thank you for watching. Share this around with your friends. You can find me on Facebook. I'm Magnus Booner. Also, check out my website at magnusboner.com or email me. Email address is right here. That's magnustboner at gmail.com. If you have any questions, comments, requests, anything, don't hesitate to get in touch. Thanks.